Lois Goodman. My husband Rick and I attend Mount Zion during the winter when we're here escaping the cold winters of Colorado. Ever since I was a young girl, I've always done some sort of needlework, sewing, embroidery, counted cross stitch, crocheting, knitting, and more recently quilting. Several years ago, I found a devotional book called Stitching with the Master Creator by Floyd Deister and Pat Shannon. In it, they take all kinds of needlework and different aspects of them, like techniques, tools, materials, and use them to relate to our relationship with our creator, the master creator. Today, I would like to read a devotional from that book entitled Time. The scripture for it is from Colossians, chapter one, verses 16 and 17. For by him, all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authority, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Tying is used to hold a quilt top and backing together without making running stitches. And many of you may have noticed these ties on quilts made by women of the church. Strong decorative thread is used. Ties are made at strategic points like corners or the center of a motif. There are tie-down points throughout our lives. These are tied with decorative threads. Birth date, graduation date, start of a career, wedding date, birth of children, children's graduation, or the coming of grandchildren. These are the points where ties are made, the things that tie our lives together. These are the points that hold our families together and give meaning. These are the ties that bring about the building of relationships, the ties that bind our hearts in love. Each season of our lives is a tying point. The teenage years are a time of growing and character building. As young adults, we make the decisions of life. At middle age, we look both ways and take the best of each. And in old age, we look forward to rest and peace. There is one tie that is essential. That is the tie formed when we take the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal savior, the one who holds all things together. Whether it comes in our childhood years or old age, this tie is essential to a stable life. Those who have secured this tie to the master creator at a young age never regret it. This is the tie that binds us in love, even to our enemies. This is the tie that creates a family bond of believers, so strong that it can never be broken. Pull on your ties today, test them, and see if that one essential tie is there. If it is not, tie it securely today. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for all the significant things in our lives that bind us together, ties that bind our hearts in love, we thank you for sending your son the tie that can not, never be broken and that binds us together as Christians. Help us today to look within ourselves and make sure the tie that binds us to you is strong and tight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless me the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love, the fellowship of kindred minds is like to that above. Before our Father's throne, we pour our ardent prayer our hopes, our aims, our one, our comforts, and our cares. We share our mutual woes, our mutual burdens bear, and often for each 
each other flows a sympathizing tear when we asunder part it gives us inward pain but we shall still be joined in heart and hope to meet again.